Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your bonus reading. What your person is saying about you. If you voted on the community page of the Tarot Empress channel for your zodiac sign, congratulations on winning. I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys. So I'm going to be looking at what your person is saying about you, Aries, during this period of time. Okay, very unusual message, the very first card to come out. I feel like this message is relating to beliefs, beliefs that you have, beliefs that they have. I feel like this card is relating to your person, I'm trying to put everything into perspective, right? I feel like for some of you, there could be a difference in beliefs. I feel like for some of you, both you and this individual concern, there are some challenges here, you know. Now, there's a journey that is happening in this connection. And this particular card is representing a journey where people, you know, they've had these kind of experiences that shape them into who they are, but it feels as if it's like shedding those experiences in order to welcome a new version of oneself, right? So I feel like the connection is going through some type of a metamorphosis. I feel like the connection is going through some type of a change. Now, there are circumstances here where both you and this person have come a long way, and perhaps both you and this individual caught sight of one another on your journey of life and realize that the old way of doing things wasn't necessarily the right way of doing things. Your person could be an individual that got involved in a set of circumstances before they met you, where they thought that they were fulfilling the expectations of other people and they were going along with these uh, conformed ideas of what society or their family wanted from them and you could have been doing the same thing. Someone in this situation may have placed a greater emphasis on either religion, family life, or um, they must have been sticking to their guns when it comes to what they wanted, what they were hoping for. So I feel like your person is either looking at you and thinking to themselves that you're a very strong and staunch person, somebody who can't be shifted. You're not like, you know... Um, the leaf that gets blown by the wind and goes wherever it takes you. It feels as if you have this uh, solid and strong nature that's definitely coming across. But I feel like this person you're dealing with is feeling as if their circumstances is kind of um, creating adversity in their world. So I had to pause the video. Someone's car alarm went off. And I feel like that in itself is also a sign because it tells you that um, there's an outcry here. There's some type of an energy which is indicating that your person is feeling as if they're hitting a wall. And, um, you know, even if their insides are screaming out, you wouldn't hear them, you wouldn't understand. So I feel like your person, even though the two of you have so much in common, there's also some differences here that have been tearing the connection apart in a way in which you don't really know, um, you know, how to solve, you know, and this person doesn't know as well. So I feel like both you and this individual concern are having a bit of a tough time here. Your person is certainly evaluating the situation in light of your upbringing, your social, um, you know, factors that come into account. I feel like they're having this discussion 
with someone around them. Some of you could be married or this person could be married to someone else as well. Keep that into account. It doesn't just have to be religion and those kind of factors that are coming here into the picture. And if it's not having to deal with those, it could be coming down to the belief system that both you and this person have in this given situation. They're definitely taking all of this into consideration. So the card that I have for you, okay, is saying, I won't let you hurt me again, okay? So your person has been hurt in these circumstances and there's a sense of um, carrying a lot of deep pain, carrying a sense of sadness, carrying a sense of emptiness. They may have misinterpreted your actions. They may have misinterpreted the way you handled a specific situation. They may have felt as if you were not making them a priority. And I can completely understand why they've sort of cornered themselves in a position where they are afraid of putting themselves in the deep end of the ocean and getting betrayed again. You know, I feel like the way that these cards have come out in some circumstances, there could be an indication here of, uh, you know, the way you were brought up versus the way that this person was brought up, the way you handle circumstances versus the way this person handles circumstances. Some people have to take other things into consideration before they enter into a relationship with an individual. Some people can't just jump into connections and, um, you know, do as they please because everybody's watching. So I feel like if you were in that position, your person may have misunderstood or misconstrued your actions and they may have thought that you were choosing a different path compared to them. So that's one of the possibilities that is coming out. But there's definitely, you know, this energy of you dealing with a person with a fragile ego, somebody that might have put themselves out there and somebody that might have shot themselves in the foot just by the mere assumption that you were not feeling certain things or going through certain things on your own. I feel like what this person is talking about you when it comes to the situation is largely based on the fact that they feel like they put themselves out there. They feel like they got hurt. They feel like it didn't pay off. They feel as if uh, they've been betrayed or backstabbed in the situation. And it could vary. It doesn't have to be so, um, so much in one direction. It can vary in different degrees. You know, you might not even have betrayed this individual. You may have went into this connection with a very pure heart and good intentions. And when you got in the mix of your emotions, you may have felt as if, you know, um, there were times when you felt you just couldn't be yourself. You just couldn't act the way you wanted to act because you felt a little bit, uh, you know, on the spot. So for some of you, I did pick up this energy of you either freezing in a moment when this person needed you or when you could have done things for this connection at hand. Now, the next card, you know, there's a rigidity that is coming across here that is very, uh, very interesting. It feels as if there's this energy of um, things being done a certain way for a long time in that manner. There's routine here. There's something about tradition. There's something about, uh, you know, not being able to truly express oneself in an authentic manner, not being able to truly be oneself in a specific situation, just because there's consequences for that. There's, there's other factors here that are playing a role. There's so much that has to be taken into consideration. That's what I'm getting. And uh, the most interesting part is that, you know, this reading is obviously for individuals that are present in the year 2021. But if you compare the ideology of how people had to give up certain connections or abandon certain relationships because of the time and the place and things of that sort, you would think of, um, you know, as an example, England in the 16th century or 15th century or 14th century, you know, you wouldn't imagine that this would be happening at this point in time, that people would feel as if, there's all these factors that are pulling them apart versus bringing them together. I feel like your person is taking all of that into account and um, they're trying to make sense of it. This individual could be going to a person that they trust and that they care about, somebody that is deeply grounded, somebody that has either been in 
a long-term relationship, you know, uh, someone that has been in a connection or have some element of stability in their life where they would be able to give the right type of advice. It was not supposed to end this way. So I feel like your person is weighing everything up and talking to a specific person, letting them know that the way that things ended, you know, it feels as if the egos got shattered and there was this, um, you know, fragility attached to one's character uh, to the point where you couldn't reach out and just be yourself after the fact, you know. So certain things collapsed, certain things crumbled, and this person put up their walls. And I feel like they might be recognizing that, in this moment in time, but there's also an element of helplessness here. I feel like your person struggles with the way that things ended. I feel like your person struggles with the way that um, things occurred between the two of you. I do feel like there's certain parts in the connection where they feel like, boy, they should not have done that. They should not have, um, you know, reacted from that place of pain, ego, and, and, you know, having that sort of struggle. It feels like that sort of energy where they do regret some of their actions. I don't feel like this person communicates to a lot of people about this because I feel like it's something that's very precious and very fragile to them. It definitely brings out these emotions that are deeply embedded inside of this individual. And what I do note here is that this individual is wondering if things would ever change. They're wondering if things could ever improve. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating, you know, the passage of time, transitions. There's always a, a new beginning when there's an ending and they might be noting that one cycle has ended here and they're wondering if a new cycle is going to begin and if that new cycle includes you or, you know, in your new cycle, are you including them or are you uh, jumping ship and moving forward? So I feel like your person is trying to weigh the pros and cons and evaluate how things are changing. So they're trying to rationalize it given what is happening in real time. If you imagine it like a game of chess, right? Um, you know, there's certain pieces that will move according to um, different factors on the chessboard. And, you know, I feel like they're trying to evaluate it from a strategic point because the way that these cards are coming up are indicating the past, the present, the future going forward. That's what a cycle represents at the end of the day, you know. So let's see. I wish I could go back in time. So it's coming down to the message that I mentioned earlier, right? Where your person sort of cringes every time they think about how things played out and why they played out in that way. If they had a manner of traveling back in time, you know, like that book called The Time Machine, they would literally do so. But I feel like certain things happened a certain way for a reason. And that can never really be discounted or ignored. It feels like that. So I feel like in terms of these energies, this person, they haven't made peace with the way that things occurred between the two of you. They haven't settled down and accepted it. There's a difficulty to truly fathom that things could ever even be over between the two of you. That's what I get from their energy right now. So there's definitely communication about the fact that they made some mistakes and perhaps you made some mistakes and they may have misinterpreted you or they might have misunderstood you. They might not have known or taken into account who you really are and what you're about as an individual. And now they're sitting with this sort of thought that um, they shouldn't have done what they did or they shouldn't have behaved in the way that they did. I feel like there's an energy of this individual sort of scouring for information and trying to grasp on straws. It feels like that sort of energy. I'm also getting the impression of desperation coming through from this person. So that's very unusual because it feels like there's an eagerness to try to look for a way, you know. So they're definitely trying to question things in greater detail, but they're also trying to keep tabs on you in some shape or form, which is very fascinating. 
they could be expressing to the person that they are talking to because it feels like now, like it's only one person. They could be expressing to this individual that they're struggling to stop uh, watching you. They're struggling to disengage from your energy. You know, I'm afraid of this love. So this person is definitely scared of the feelings that they have for you, afraid of what it might mean in the grand scheme of things. If you, you know, been reading things in the news you may come across now and then of stories that are told of individuals that fallen in love in unusual circumstances. And it could be that they fell in love in World War I or World War II or whatever it is. And there's always this energy of separation between the two, even though the story could be incredibly beautiful and sad at the same time. But because of the circumstances, because of the way that two people you know, were leading their lives at the time, there were factors there that didn't really allow for the connection to occur in the way that it could have occurred, even though this is 2021. But I feel like, you know, when you have a fear of love and you really try to appreciate that there's other people in this world that have lived this life and they've passed on and they lived with that regret, they lived with that sense of sadness, fear shouldn't be something that stands in the way of an amazing connection. Well, that's at least what I think. So there's definitely this sense of not really knowing how to handle the depth of their own emotional calling that they have in this connection with you. And I've always felt like this person does love you, but I've always felt as if this individual was sort of tormented by it, like, for example, what if it takes hold of them? What if it, what if it takes control of them? What if they, they're not able to have their own sense of identity? And whenever you're involved with an Aries individual, whether they're male or female, they never try to take away from a person's identity. In fact, they try to encourage people to have their own identity, to have their own lives, to enjoy themselves. You know, It doesn't have to be that um, everything revolves around the Aries individual. There has to be that element of individuality for respect and harmony and happiness. Not all Aries wants to be surrounded by their significant other 24-7, you know. So I feel like that is definitely something to take into account. Your person has a lot of emotions, yeah. I feel like these emotions actually make them feel like they're drowning at times and they are unable to handle these emotions. Judging from what I see so far, this person doesn't really go into the details of what happened between the two of you. They try to analyze it from a big picture type of perspective. They try to take into account um, who you are as individual, as an individual, what they haven't realized about you as an individual. Maybe it's having to do with your background, having to do with your upbringing, your, um, your way of life. Some of you are from homes where your parents are together. Others are from homes where your parents are not together. Uh, some of you are from very religious backgrounds. Some of you are from um, backgrounds that are not religious, but you might have a strong sense of spirituality, you know. I lay awake thinking of you. So I feel like what this individual would really be saying, given what I see so far, is that they don't want to get hurt again. They're definitely afraid of what this connection is. They regret the way that things happened. And I feel like there's a sense of the, you know inferring because I don't feel like this individual would out, outright say that they're tormented by this in the sense of the word like laying awake thinking about you in the middle of the night or at any hours of the night I don't feel like they would say that maybe they might imply that they haven't been getting much sleep recently but I feel like they wouldn't completely allude to the fact that it has to do with you but the other person would kind of pick up that it's all related in some shape or form so let's get one card from the Rumi oracle deck to sum up what this person could be saying or to get one more indication of what they could be saying i'm not picking up a lot of emotion from the way this person talks about you i just feel like they're looking at it from the big picture perspective and trying to figure out if you know, they're going to be a part of the next stage of your life or are you completely shutting them out? I feel like there's this energy of them looking at your world and sort of wishing they were a part of it, but they're not right now. When you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy. 
So I feel like this individual may have come to realize that they were doing things from their soul. They felt a river moving through them and that river was joy and that comes from their interactions and engagement with you. So you left a very strong mark on this individual. In fact, I don't feel like a lot of people do things from their soul nowadays. They often do things because they feel compelled or they often do things because there's an expectation to do it. But with you, it feels as if there was a freedom in terms of being who they are and what they truly represent in this world. It's like you recognize their soul and they recognize that you recognize them. And for a long time, they've been walking around feeling like a soulless individual or feeling as if nobody really gets them or understands them. But I feel like you did. So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. I hope it has provided you with clarity and peace of mind. Have a wonderful day and take care.